dear students in the today's lecture i shall uh, discuss the module number 5 that is in 18 mat uh, 653 that is uh, linear algebra uh, this is a open elective subject that comes in sixth semester and, uh, and up to previous lectures we have discussed about the module 1 that was consisting of linear equations system of linear equations consistency and inconsistency how the solution exists and how the solution does not exist and the, how the infinite number of solutions exist. Later we studied the vector space, subspace, even uh, basis and dimension and its applications in engineering. And in this lecture I am going to discuss uh, uh, about uh, the module number 5 in the same title that is linear algebra that is 18 mat 653. This goes for three types of applications. The uh, three types of applications will play the major role in engineering. There is the first application is graphs and networks and the second application is matrices in engineering and third application is computer graphics. In uh, how this linear algebra plays a role uh, especially in the first uh, application that is uh, graphs and networks where graphs and networks you need to know the basics of graphs. What, are, what is the meaning of edges and what is the meaning of nodes and how the flow system will take place in a circuit. That means uh, if you take uh, the circuit where the current is flowing then you need to understand uh, Kirchhoff current law and Kirchhoff volt, voltage law. So these two laws you must know and also along with Ohm's law. These three laws you must be familiar when you are going to study the flow of the current through the circuit. And the next is how the graph is related and what is the use of this matrices that means linear algebra takes the application in the case of uh, uh, circuit problems. That means uh, especially if you take an example as flow of the current through the circuit then we will study the analysis of uh, uh, current uh, uh, enters the circuit and current leaves the circuit. That means current enter the circuit which will be at, at the point uh, we call it as a node where the current is entering and the current is flowing we call it as according to graph theory we call it as edges. That means edge first is node and then is edge this is the uh, graph and network uh, linkage between these two terminologies. So first of all let us understand uh, what is the meaning of uh, node and what is the meaning of edge, what is the meaning of graph, what is the meaning, uh, what are the definitions of Ohm's law, uh, Kirchhoff's, uh, Kirchhoff's uh, current uh, uh, law, Kirchhoff voltage law. All, after understanding all these things, when we study the flow of the current at a different nodes in an electric circuit, then I will, I will give all the details in the diagram and then I shall form the application of matrices uh, which is called as topology matrix and which is also called as connectivity matrix and which is named as uh, standard terminology as incidence matrix. What is the meaning of this in incidence matrix especially in the case of the current flowing through the circuit and then uh, it is flowing uh, along the edges in the network then how the current is to be analyzed in the form of set of equations. So those equations will be written as set of linear equations and those linear equations will form a matrix. That type of matrix in order to represent uh, the flow of the current through the circuit through the graphical uh, uh, concept it is called as incidence matrix or connectivity matrix or topology matrix. So this is the main objective of uh, studying the graphs and networks as a first application and uh, the second application goes for matrices in engineering. So matrices in engineering there also I will discuss about the networks, uh, network problem. Maybe network uh, you can think of in two uh, uh, so many different ways that means especially connected to various branches of engineering. For example as I mentioned that electric circuit flow of the current through the network means what is uh, the uh, resistance, what is the battery it is connected and what is the uh, uh, voltage it is uh, supplying and then uh, connecting all these terminologies the matrix is to be formed. Then you will discuss and you will take the application of conservation law. What is that conservation law? That means flow in is equal to flow out. Flow in is equal to flow out means this is done by 
this is uh, to be verified by that is conservation law. Uh, matrices in engineering will take uh, for various applications. This is one, sam one example I told. Another uh, example with respect to the civil engineering branch that is pipeline network. For example, it may be with respect to the drainage pipeline or it may be with respect to the drinking water uh, uh, network uh, pipeline. So, uh, according to this, so uh, uh, the equation of conservation of law, that means conservation of law says uh, the equation of continuity. That means equation of continuity is to be protected, the flow in is equal to flow out. So, there also we discuss what is the inflow and what is the outflow. For these two situations, once again there also we will write the matrix equation for the electric circuit once again and then we will solve the uh, matrix uh, for getting the values of the currents. That means current in the uh, first direction as I1, current in uh, flow of the current in the second direction as I2 and current uh, flow of the current in the third direction as I3 likewise. That is related to with res uh, related to the circuit. And for example, in the pipeline network, uh, the fluid flow, that means water is flowing, oil is flowing and uh, there may be uh, uh, two types of flows, uh, there may be two types of fluids. One is uh, uh, viscous fluid and the another one is uh, classical fluid. So, classical fluids and viscous fluids, there also we will write the incidence matrix for the pipeline network uh, when it is connected to various flows situations. Okay? There is a one source and then we will uh, give a distribution of pipelines. There is a one source of current. For example, here itself if you take, there is a one flow that means uh, uh, flow of the current that means entering uh, the current into this room uh, will give so many bulbs where uh, all the bulbs are glowing. Uh, for example, this is uh, focusing one light and focusing another light, focusing this light. That means it is the network where the current is uh, received from the electric pole as the uh, main source. So, from that main source here we distribute all this current flow, then to this we write matrix, to this we write uh, network uh, diagram and uh, we will introduce what is the meaning of node, what is the meaning of edge and all these uh, terminologies we will introduce and finally, we will write a matrix equation. So, that the utilization of the matrix or the application of matrix goes in a long, in a bigger way that takes. Uh, or ultimately it gives the solution of the matrix. Solution of the matrix which will be uh, supported by elementary row operations or elementary co column operations or uh, by Gaussian elimination method, gauss jordan method, any method you can use. Ultimately you have to see that what are the values of the unknowns where for example, when we receive the current from uh, main line and then uh, for example, to this bulb uh, we supply the current how much current is flowing to this bulb, how much current is flowing to this bulb. So, everywhere we write that, that is one node and that is the edge. Edge means the direction in which uh, it is called uh, current is flowing. Then this is called, when I write the diagram for this uh, network of the flow of the current, it is called directed graph, directed graph and directed graph will indicate uh, the starting point as node and the flow of the current in that particular circuit is called a edge and how many edges are there? For example, now I am seeing that 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 lights are glowing and uh, uh, for all these 4 lights, uh, the, the, there must be 4 edges and one node is there and from that one node, another, another node we write, from that node to this light we will get a current, uh, flow of the current and for, from that uh, current will be flowing to the, uh, this one and this one and uh, that circuit uh, will be interconnected where the main source is supplying the current to all the bulbs which they have to glow. So, this is the uh, purpose and we will write a diagram, network diagram and using Ohm's law that is a Kirchhoff uh, voltage law, Kirchhoff uh, current law. In short form, we call it as KC, uh, KCL that is uh, Kirchhoff current uh, uh, law and Kirchhoff voltage law that is KVL. Uh, using these concepts of uh, our uh, definitions of this uh, uh, loss due to Kirchhoff and Ohm's, we will write a diagram that is called a uh, network and this is connected with the meaning as graph. Therefore, graphs and uh, networks will give us the idea how the current is flowing through the circuit 
and how the matrix equation in mathematics we are going to write and how to solve that matrix equation and what are the values of those currents which are flowing from that main source to the first bulb that is I1 from that uh, so first bulb to the second bulb that is called I2 through the edge and from this bulb to this bulb that is called I3 like that uh, that is edge 3. Then using this one we call it as a directed uh, graph will be represented by means of incidence matrix where the rows will be in terms of edges and columns will be in terms of nodes. This is called edge node matrix otherwise topology matrix otherwise connectivity matrix otherwise incidence matrix because in your uh, uh, discussion various authors will use uh, all these uh, terminologies but all of them will be what is the current is entering the circuit and what is the current is uh, uh, current is reaching that particular point where you are showing the edge. So this type of representation of the flow of the current through the various circuits will be represented by means of a uh, directed graph. So directed graph that means you need to know the basics of graph, you need to know the basics of uh, network uh, and its analysis thereby what is the role of mathematics in this especially in the mathematics what is the role of matrix. So that I will write a few definitions on this then with these definitions I will write one network diagram and for that incidence matrix I will write and how to solve that incident incidence matrix and what is the rank of that and what is the current flow in that one that we shall discuss in the first application. This is the only uh, objective related to the first application. Likewise the second application that is matrices in engineering I will discuss two problems on that. One problem is uh, linking with same uh, voltage ca uh, current uh, supplying uh, through the circuit and uh, matrix equation we are going to write and different currents we are going to analyze uh, that is the second application first example and second example uh, in the geometry how this uh, matrix uh, plays a role uh, we will study uh, when uh, two equations are given to you uh, three equations are given to you two equations are representing two planes that means two planes for example if I take uh, these two this is one plane this is one plane and this is another plane right when these two planes are intersecting that means intersecting means this plane is inserted inside this another plane otherwise if I hold like this then one plane is introduced into another plane that is where you need to calculate the point of intersection this is case number one and case number two when the two uh, planes are parallel that means two uh, planes are parallel means there is uh, the only the difference in the constant but the equations are same and the third case when one plane is overlapping on the another plane that means coinciding on another plane. So this type of discussion will come for the basic uh, geometry especially in the case of matrices that is uh, one or two samples I will give in that uh, matrix uh, matrices in engineering application and finally the third application is uh, computer graphics. So computer graphics uh, is nowadays uh, the more uh, popular uh, area more popular field uh, what we uh, study here the uh, image processing uh, method in this image processing for example your camera or your mobile or uh, whatever the photograph you are going to take that will be uh, captured in terms of the digitals in terms of digits. So each digit which is stored in a memory that is called as pixel then uh, what is the pixel for example you have your own mobile and what is, what, uh, what is the pixel capacity of that mobile uh, from the Android phone uh, that is on that platform what are the number of pixels uh, that means what is the capacity of the pixels. So each pixel for example when you take a camera a photograph of uh, any object uh, through any camera then it will be captured in terms of the digits. So each digit which is stored in the memory that is called as a pixel then you remember uh, the each pixel will uh, represent how to color the image for example if you take my uh, photograph then maybe my uh, color of the shirt is this color of the uh, ID card is this and color of this background is something then all the digits will be captured through the camera all the digits will be captured through the mobile uh, 
camera also in the form of digits. So, each digit will take its location in order to represent the color. For example, now this is a pen, yes this is a blue color. Uh, some digits will uh, capture the color of this pen and it will be stored in the memory. So, how this uh, uh, digital uh, process for the uh, for taking the uh, photograph of the image then it, it will be stored in terms of uh, uh, thousands of uh, pixels even lakhs of pixels then when you increase the number of pixels that will give the increase of accuracy that is the beauty of the camera otherwise beauty of this uh, image processing uh, and photograph capturing. So, each pixel each pixel will store its color. So, for example, this is with the different colors. So, this is white color and this is blue color and this is a colorless, this is transparent. Okay. So, there are number of uh, uh, digits will be, uh, will be placed on this and each digit will uh, receive the color and it will be stored. So, the digit which is going to receive the color from taking the photograph is called the pixel. So, number of pixels are more then accuracy will be more. So, uh, therefore, you have a big screen. For example, this is a TV. You have a big screen and you have a Android platform of uh, uh, your own uh, mobile uh, uh, set. Okay. Then, uh, what is the ca pixel capacity is assigned to that uh, mobile uh, where you can get the photographs of that? It all depends on the capacity of the pixels. Therefore, your price of your camera, yeah, sorry, mobile, or the price of the camera, whatever the uh, photograph uh, capturing unit is there, the price depends on the uh, number of pixels allotted to that. That means each pixel will capture the color of that particular object. Okay. So, what we do in uh, uh, with this in mathematics? Therefore, these pixels, whatever the pixels are assigned, that are, that, that are depending on some mathematical formulation that mathematical formulation is nothing but whatever the program that you are going to write, the whatever the algorithm that you are going to write, that algorithm is to be improved every time by uh, taking the speed of convergence. That means in the calculation of the convergence, what the algorithm you are going to write. So, that we call it as uh, 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 program in various languages. It may be in terms of machine language or in terms of any other language. So, this process, this process will be written, for example, this process will be written, for example, this is my shirt, then I have to stretch and I have to contract, I have to stretch and I have to contract means, uh, for example, flexible materials, for example, flexible materials. So, if this is there, if I stretch on the right side, then in the two dimensional coordinate system or three dimensional coordinate system and what are the corresponding changes on the coordinates that you have to fix. Suppose I contract, that means I press this one and what are the corresponding edges and nodes that you are going to specify in the form of computer graphics. So, these things will be put in the form of some mathematics that is completely based on uh, uh, analytical geometry and uh, uh, solid geometry that is three dimensional geometry. So, what are the equations involved in this discussion? Uh, that is my lecture, that is my discussion in this fifth module. Okay. So, let me start with uh, the definition of the uh, graph where uh, the graph is concerning with edges and nodes. Okay. I will take an example of uh, writing one graph and then how the current is flowing uh, in the form of uh, edges and current is entering in the, for, uh, in the location we call it as a node and node and edges will play the major role. Okay. So, when you write some matrix for this situation, it is called edge node matrix it is called incidence matrix, it is called topology matrix, otherwise connectivity matrix, but it is called as directed graph. Directed graph means, suppose I am moving in this direction, that means arrow mark I must mention, arrow mark I must, I must mention, you know the meaning of uh, vector. So, vector has got both the magnitude and direction, that means length of the line and then direction. Suppose I move like this, then my direction is, this is called directed graph, if I represent. Suppose I move in this direction, direction, dire, direction towards uh, negative x axis, direction towards positive x axis. So, when you plot a graph along with this path, suppose I move up to this distance, again I take a, a different direction, this is called 
path path traced by this moving arrow mark path traced by this moving line that moving line is first edge second edge third edge like that then uh, whatever the uh, number of edges you are going to mention that will be written in the form of matrix as row then uh, nodes will be written in the form of columns then this type of representation of the matrix is called incidence matrix otherwise it is called uh, uh, topology matrix okay fine let me give in a brief uh, the definitions i shall write uh, uh, for your uh, uh, requirement so what are the edges and uh, uh, nodes then i shall write about uh, uh, kirchhoff uh, current law kirchhoff volt voltage law and ohms law these three definitions i will write and the notations you know that always already you know that uh, definition for battery then for the resistance and for the current that is uh, capital i we are going to represent for resistance we call it as capital r resistance 1 resistance 2 resistance 3 like that r1 r2 r3 and so on current 1 current 2 current 3 like that for example from the main source current 1 that is called i1 from that it is uh, up to reaching up to another bulb it is called uh, i2 then i3 for example directly if you take a wire from that location to that bulb then that is one line and from from there itself again you give a, a direction that is a second edge from that one to that one first edge and from that first bulb to second bulb that is called edge number 2 otherwise otherwise from the main source only if you take directly the connection for the second bulb uh, from the main source that is second edge where flow of current not coming in the first edge flow of the current from the main source is uh, directly coming from the main source so like this uh, directed uh, graph we are going to represent so that is what we are going to understand in the module number 1 that is the first application okay so uh, in this module that is uh, module number uh, module number 5 uh, in this that is 18 mat 653 the first application graphs and networks and next one matrices in engineering and third one computer graphics in all these three cases my interest is what is the role of mathematics in these three applications role of mathematics in this role of mathematics in this role of mathematics in this but it needs this is called interdisciplinary study interdisciplinary study means you can't study only mathematics separate you can't study only the uh, network uh, networks uh, theory separately or you can't study uh, computer graphics separately you need to understand what is the meaning of two dimensional three dimensional and what is the meaning of edge node and then what is the meaning of polar coordinates cartesian coordinates all these things first you must know especially when you say that when once you start with the graph then you need to understand what is the uh, what vertices what is the edge and what is the node these three you have to understand and what is the directed graph so these uh, three four definitions basically you have to understand then you have to go for topology matrix okay so first of all first one uh, let me write uh, the about the graph the basic meaning of this graph is it consists it consists a set of vertices and nodes and a set of edges and connected between them connected between them now i have mentioned this uh, nodes then edges then vertices okay 
Now I will take an example. I shall, I shall explain all the three through example. Now I will write this is node number 1 and this is node number 2, node number 3, this is node number 4. This is edge and the first edge is any anyone you can represent but I start from this point. This is edge 1 and edge 2, I will write and edge this one is 3 and edge 4 and edge 5. Now nodes that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 but here the flow will be taken in this direction. It goes up to here and it comes back. So this is the direction uh, indicated by arrow mark by means of a curve. Okay. So what we do here, this is the first node here number of nodes, number of nodes is equal to 1, comma 2, 3, comma 4. This is equal to 4. Node means the point where the flow of the current starts. Okay. So, number of edges, number of edges, how many? that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. Now, number of edges of 5 are there and the flow of the current starts from this point that you can call it as like A, it is B, C and D. Okay. Let A, B, C, D, let A, B, C, D be the be the graph consisting of consisting of five edges and four nodes five edges and four nodes with this what are your observations about the graph so one by one your observations you have to write but before that let me write about uh, the uh, laws which are governed by electrical networks. Some laws, because I am going to take the problem on this, some laws we have to define. First one is Ohm's law. <coughs> the voltage drop. the voltage drop V across across a resistor across a resistor is the product is the product of the current I and the resistance R. resistance R. This is equal to voltage is equal to I into R. This is called Ohm's law and the second one Kirchhoff current law. Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law means that is KCL I take The current flow, into a node, 
into a node equals the current flow out of the node. The current flow out of the node. The current flow into a node equals the current flow out of the node. That means flow in that is node okay that is current with respect with reference to this current flow in node is equal to current flow in node out that means flow in is equal to flow current flow out that is flow out that means it is called the equation of continuity holds good otherwise we call it as your yeah, conservation of conservation law holds good next third one kirchhoff voltage law kirchhoff voltage law this is in short form that is k v l kirchhoff voltage law the algebraic sum the algebraic sum of the voltage the algebraic sum of the voltage drops around a closed around closed loops equals the total voltage source in the loop the total voltage source in the loop these three laws you must remember before we study the network with respect to the flow of the current i repeat the first one ohm's law that is the voltage drop v across a resistor is the product of the current i and the resistance r that is v is equal to i into r the next one kirchhoff's current law the current flow into the node equals the current flow out of the node so current flow in is equal to current flow out this represents equation of continuity otherwise conservation law then kirchhoff voltage law the algebraic sum of the voltage drops around a closed loops equals the total voltage source in the loop so using these three we will write the matrix which represents for the uh, example taken that is a uh, five edges and four uh, nodes then the incidence matrix which we are going to write so i will write it back again the same circuit this is node number 1 this is node number 2 uh, and node number 3 this is 4 and current is flowing in this direction and here the edge next edge and here this is the direction so directed graph we have to represent and the current is flowing in this direction from node number 2 then this is edge 1 edge 1 and edge 4 i have taken in the example edge 4 and edge 5 and edge 2 edge 3 like that so the current starts from this node this is the first node second node and third node and the fourth node flow starts from here and flows up to here and again it comes here but it is also flowing into the node number 3 that means 2 and 3 the direction of this uh, uh, flow the current from 2 to 3 is there but not it is going back therefore for this graph we can call we can make some observations from this circuit after that we can write incidence matrix what are the observations from this graph after defining 
the law number one just now I had written that is Ohm's law, Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law. But in the Kirchhoff uh, uh, laws, the conservation of uh, current or conservation law holds good. So with respect to that, current starts from here, flows up to here, again flows up to here uh, and also from the node, the current flows up to uh, node number 3. So that edge 1, edge 2, edge 3, edge 4 and edge 5. So totally 5 edges are there and 4 nodes are there. Therefore, yeah, I, can, I can write that 5 edges and 4 nodes. Okay. So with respect to this graph, what is the network? Network uh, observe, what, is the, uh, what are your observations in the network? The first observation, the uh, uh, graph has of course 5 edges and uh, for 4 nodes. I can write the graph consists of, I can write directly with this information, con consists of 5 cross 4 5 cross 4 that is equal to edges cross nodes. So with this notation I will take, this is my first observation. Second observation, it does not have edge between, it does not have edge between 1 and 4. That means it has edge not 1 and 4 but 2 and 3. It has the edge, it has the edge between 2 and 3, 2 and 3 but not, but not between which nodes 1 and 4, between 1 and 4. Next observation, uh, it is called directed graph, it is taken as, it is taken as directed graph. It is taken as directed graph. So directed means with the arrow mark like this. So uh, the direction is indicated. From this it is flowing in this direction not coming back. From this it is flowing in this direction not coming back. So only it is called directed graph. And finally the edge node, the edge node relation the edge node relation will be represented by means of matrix. That means numbers we are going to specify represented by the, by the matrix with the directed graph, with the directed graph called directed graph called incidence matrix. Incidence matrix because the same terminology will be there in your textbooks that is incidence matrix or topology matrix. Topology matrix means it has to satisfy certain conditions, okay, algebraic conditions topology matrix or connectivity matrix, connectivity matrix. So connectivity matrix means what is the order of the uh, matrix that is 5 cross 4, 5 cross 4, what is 5 cross 4? So 5 is nothing but edge this is nothing but rows. In the matrix we are going to represent those values as in the form of rows. That means in terms of 1 and 0 and minus 1 we are going to represent. Then 4, this is called node. Node means it is column. So rows and columns that is 5 edges and 4 nodes will be represented by means of a matrix that is a uh, a non square matrix it is called as 5 cross 4 matrix therefore the governing the governing matrix is given by 
A that is called incident incidence matrix A is equal to I will represent these numbers by means of a matrix. Now the first row minus 1, 1 it is 0 and 0. Next is minus 1, 0, 1. I shall explain all these rows. First you collect all these numbers then 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1. Next is 0, 0. This is minus 1 and plus 1. This is your incidence matrix. So, incidence matrix means here this is R1, this is R2, this is R3, this is R4, this is R5, and this is C1 and this is C2, this is C3 and C4. Here this is nothing but uh, edges right? and this is nothing but nodes, nodes means columns. Okay. So this is incidence matrix. So each row, each row will represent the behavior of the flow of the current. So, that observation you can make out from the matrix that is the first observation means first row here also you have to make the observation from every row observations. The first observation you can write row 1 shows that means R1 shows I take this one as R1 for edge 1 otherwise you can call it as E1 right this is E2 this is E3 this is E4 this is E5, right? Uh, row 1 shows E1, that is E1, uh, the edge from 1 to 2, the edge from 1 to 2, 1 to 2 means from here to here, okay? So, likewise, other observations I will write with respect to the matrix, that is second observation, row 5, row 5 comes from the fifth edge, from the fifth edge, next observation that is from 3 to 4, 3 to 4 node, 3 to 4 node means this one, 3 to 4 again, right. And third observation, current flowing in 5 edges, current flowing in 5 edges. Five edges. 5 edges means current is flowing from here and it comes here and then it comes here then it goes here. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. That is the third observation which you can make out current is flowing through 5 edges with uh, locate, located 4 nodes. Okay. You cannot exceed rating this 4, rating this 4, 4 is fixed and 5 is fixed. Therefore, this, is, this matrix is called 5 cross 4 matrix, 5 cross 4 matrix that means 5 rows and 4 columns. So, now you have to study the rank of this matrix, how this rank of the matrix will work and what are the uh, values of the currents which are flowing in directed graph. You can study the rank of this matrix now. Here we study, here we study the rank of the matrix. Rank of the matrix as A, that means A is equal to the given matrix as it is I will consider minus 1, minus 1 it is 0, 0, 1, 0, <coughs> minus 1, minus 1 and 0 <coughs> and 0, this is 1, 1, 0 and then minus 1, next is 0, 0, this is 0 and then 1, 1. So, how to find out the rank? You can recall the uh, method you have studied to find the rank of the matrix basically in the matrix theory. So, 
these three values are, sorry these four values are to be converted as 0 <coughs> these four values and later the uh, first you have to observe what is the pivotal element. So, this is the pivotal element and these four numbers are to be converted to 0. Anyway, it is phi cross 4 matrix, phi cross 4 matrix implies the rank uh, of A is not equal to phi. It must be noted because higher number will not be equal, but only the lower number you can take. That means, rank of A is not equal to phi. Then let us uh, check this. Uh, this is uh, R1, this is R2, right? This is R1, R2, R3, R4 and then R5. We have to operate uh, to make this as 0, but all the three are coincidentally 0. Now this from the first row on the second that is R1 minus of R2 because both are minus, I will take that effecting on R2. Therefore, A is equivalent to A is equivalent to equivalent to first row is same that is 1 minus 1 1 0 0 and uh, second row that is that that we made it as 0 r1 minus r2 that is 1 and r1 minus r2 that is minus 1 this is 0 and this is we have not disturbed this one minus 1 uh, plus 1 0 0 minus 1 0 and then 1 and here it is 0, 0, minus 1 and plus 1. Now, we have to make these three elements as 0, treating this one as pivotal element. So, now this becomes the pivotal element. Uh, then you need to make the corresponding column elements as 0. How many elements are there? There are three elements, but coincidentally one element is already showing as 0. So, you need not to make this one. Now, you have to make these two elements as 0. Therefore, R2 plus R3 effecting on R3. Then R2 same thing that is plus of R3 uh, sorry R4 plus of R4 effecting on it is R4. Then A is equivalent to A is equivalent to we consider the application of this uh, element that is minus 1, 0 and 0, it is 0, then 0, this is minus 1 and this is not disturbed, minus 1, it is 0, 3 zeros are same here, okay, and these two are 0, then 3 are uh, 0, in the earlier 4 are 0, here 3 are 0, now we have to take this that is R2 plus R3, R2 plus R3, this is 0, okay, and R2 plus R4, R2 plus R4, uh, that is 0, R2 means minus 1 here, and last one is 0. Next is, that is R2 plus R3, this becomes 0, and R2 plus R4, that remains to be same, this remains to be same. Now, next two chances this you have to make it as 0. This you have to make it as 0 means this will become as the pivotal element. Then with this pivotal element, you have to make these two are 0, but coincidentally one element among two is already 0. Therefore, only you have to play between uh, row number 3 and row number 5. That gives that is uh, R or uh, row number uh, of course from here. So, this is already 0 and uh, uh, this is already 0, but this should be non-zero element. So, non-zero element means we will consider this as uh, in the next uh, row uh, to make it as non-zero element to say that it is a pivotal element, but here you have to make uh, uh, from the, from the uh, first operation what we did, first element on the remaining, second element on the remaining, now third element on the remaining, but third one is not pivotal element because it is a zero element, it is not a non-zero uh, element. Therefore, we do not call it as a pivotal element. Then we can interchange any one of these two rows and uh, uh, in order to say that it is a row echelon form. So, we can interchange and then write. So, by that here, here uh, 
that is column number uh, that means row number 3 otherwise column number 3. Here in column number 3 that is in C3 uh, third element third element third element is uh, 0 0. So, that should be non-zero number. So, non-zero number means we can interchange this. So, with this to the previous one therefore, interchange interchange which rows that is row number 3 and row number 4 ok R3 and R4 row number 3 and row number 4 therefore, A is equivalent to A is equivalent to minus 1 0 0 0 this is 0 1 and then minus 1 0 now I am interchanging this <coughs> these two zeros will come here, minus 1 will come here and uh, what else? Uh, that becomes uh, minus 1 and then plus 1, ok. This is 0, right? This is 0, all the values are 0 in the fourth row, right? Now, last row remains to be same, that is 0, 0, 0 and then plus 1. Now, this is uh, minus 1 that means first row on the remaining we did, second row on the remaining we did. Now, third row on the remaining we have to do, but remaining what we did is, what we did is this one uh, as a pivotal element we made it as non-zero. Therefore, these two are 0, these three are 0, these four are 0 and this one next from this we have to make it as 0. Again, we interchange this one to the next one. Okay interchange because coincidentally both are 0. So, you need not to operate uh, you need not to operate the elementary row operation already it has become 0. Therefore, interchanging interchanging that is R4 and R5 <coughs> then you will get R4 and R5 you will be getting that is A is equivalent to minus 1 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0. Then number of non-zero rows that means <coughs> number of non-zero rows are 4. Therefore, uh, rank of A is equal to 4. Rank of A is equal to 4 means you can study the flow of the current through this uh, circuit in a 3 uh, 5 cross 4 5 edges and 4 nodes. So, the uh, current can be estimated in each uh, directed graph that means what is on the first uh, uh, edge, second edge, third edge and fourth edge with respect to the diagram which I had written you can calculate the values of the currents. Thank you. Let W be the subspace. Let W be the subspace in that is region with 4 different values. Here instead of 3, 4 different values spanned, spanned by the vectors. There are 3 vectors given alpha 1 is equal to 1, 2, 2 and then 1 and alpha 2 is equal to 0, it is 2, 0 and 1 and alpha 3 is equal to that is uh, minus 2, 0, minus 4 and then 3. Then there are questions like uh, 4 questions. Let me answer the question number uh, C that means uh, A prove that prove that the vectors prove that the vectors alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 form the basis form the basis W form the basis and W linearly independent. Linearly independent. This is first question. 
and the second question with reference to the same second question with reference to the same uh, how this w is a subspace with reference to the given three vectors alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 uh, how they are spanned in the region that is totally four values 1 2 3 four values and the second question is beta is equal to that is uh, b1 b2 b3 b4 b a vector in subspace b a vector in subspace that is w so you can easily make out you take c1 c2 c3 for this you can write a linear combination of all these three that means you will form a vector linear combination for all these four values then you will get four different equations and you will have to solve for uh, uh, three uh, values that means uh, uh, three values of scalars that means c1 c2 c3 afterwards you can say that how these uh, uh, they are spanned in the region with the four different values so remaining discussions i will continue in my next lecture thank you